Hey, what's up guys? How is everybody doing today? Um, so today we're going to do a color lerp script and I wanted to make this because I wanted when um, Millie gets hit by boss man um, he would flash like red or yellow or something like that. You know, you see that in like a lot of games when <laughs> when uh, you get hit. Um, so anyways, yeah, color lerp. And um, so create C sharp script. Call it something like um, fade sprite. Whatever you like. Open it up. And I'm just gonna get rid of all this mess real quick. And um, so we gotta think. What do we need? We need a start color and end color for one. So make public start color. Uh, it needs to be color. And then public, you can copy and paste, up to you. End color. So our start color will be whatever color it is right now, the sprite is right now. And the end color may be red, yellow, blue, whatever you want. And then we need three floats. We need a fade in time, a fade out time, and bonus points for a fade delay. Um, so hit your fade in time. And that'll be equal to um, 1F for now. We can change that later. Save a fraction of a second. Copy and fade, paste. Fade out time. And we'll call that one 2. And then 3 for the fade delay. And just kind of clean it up a little bit, make it easy to read. So we got start color, in color, fade in, fade out and uh, fade delay. And then the last thing for this script, we need to get access to the sprite render. Not 7up, sorry. I like to call it underscore sprite render. I find it's easier to work with. Now we need to cache money, that sprite render, and then uh, get component. And that's the sprite render. So now we got access to that. Don't use get component sprite render or get component whatever in your function or especially in your update or anything like that. Um, it's better practice to cache it. It's just, uh, just the way it is. Don't do it. Never. So on our start function, we're going to start a coroutine. So normally this would be like in your damage function or a power up function, whatever, but just for, um, the sake of the tutorial and make it easier to explain what's going on. We'll just call it right away in the start function. So start coroutine here. If I can type. And uh, we'll call it um, something um, color lerp in. Copy and paste. And it's going to be IE numerator. Uh, color lerp in. If you you should do some research on IE numerator if you know not aware of what that is, but basically um, it's we can work with values in it. So in a nutshell, <laughs> in a very basic nutshell, I guess. So we're gonna start a for loop and we're gonna make another float. We'll call it t, and t is gonna be equal to oops, not five. T is gonna be equal to 0.01f, and while t is less than our fade in time. We're gonna keep adding t to 0 0.01, so plus equal, um, sorry, equal 0.1f. There you go. So while t is less than fade in time, so one in this case, we're gonna keep going through this for loop here. And then we need our sprite render, and we need to get material dot color. Now we have access to color, and that's gonna be equal to color dot lerp. And what do we need to lerp from? Well, we need to lerp from the start color to the end color. And it tells you color A to color B and a float. So the float will be T, but it's also going to be divided by our fade in time. So now we have control over the actual lerp with the fade in time. And then yield return null. 
And once you got that done, um, we'll do this. Yeah, we'll go. We'll do that in a second. Start protein and call it like color about. And don't forget these little guys. Color lerp out. And we're gonna do the same thing. You can copy and paste this over, but be very careful and remember to change fade in time to fade out time. And then fade out time right there. So now we have separate times for the fade in. So if you want this like one second, three seconds, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So in color, start color start color, in color. So instead of going from A to B, we're going from B to A basically, in color, back to start color. And I return null, and let's see what happens. If you make the Unity gods happy. Don't forget to click and drag your sprite onto, or sorry, your script onto your sprite that you want to work with. And if you hit play right now, because we haven't picked our colors, you see that his body is Alpha is zero, so it looks like it's invisible. It is invisible. So keep it white with the alpha all the way up. So that's the color that it is as it is right now. So we want to go from start where it is right now to let's just call it red. Boom, boom. Looks pretty good. So if all goes well, you should go from white to red, fade in for a second, fade out two seconds, and there's no fade delay right now, so it should be happening pretty quick. Yeah, pretty good. So you can see if that's what you wanted. Let's make make a little bit, a little bit slower. Nice, nice and creamy, so smooth. Look at that, full control. Where the fade delay comes in. Um, we're gonna call our start code coroutine right there, but you can yield return new wait for seconds if he can type today. If you wanted to say, say he had a power up and he's power up for 10 seconds or whatever, you can have that. So fade delay is set, oops, set three right now. We'll go back to the script. So we got five, eight, three. So there'll be, let's make it to make two so it doesn't take forever. So fade in and then there'll be a two second delay before the coroutine is called and then it'll fade back to white, our beginning color. So yeah, that's it guys. Um, I uh, hope you like that. I hope it helps you out a little bit at least. Fade in nice and smooth and then fade back out. Awesome. So we'll probably use that on when he takes damage. And then of course, um, you could add sound, crazy, do whatever, you know, have fun. But um, yeah, hope you like that. So please, if you got some of this video, um, drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and um, leave a comment below if you have any questions or comments, or just say wanna say, um, Dude, chill out, man. That's cool, too. Anyway, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed that, and we'll catch you in the next tutorial. As always, thanks for watching, and happy coding.